So dear friends, another opportunity for me to speak to you in the middle of this month and surely November month as I said earlier is a beautiful month. Perhaps the rains will come to an end and we'll have that cool breeze that takes us to the Christmas time. Let me begin with the message of the week. We have a beautiful message. A message about waiting. Waiting. You know what is waiting? Waiting is not just sitting in the parlor, sitting outside to wait somebody. Perhaps it's waiting, yes. But one of the beautiful messages that God gives in today's gospel about waiting itself. You know, our life is much about waiting. A saga of waiting. We have to wait and wait and look forward to so many times. There's this mother who waits for the birth of the child. She's there waiting for perhaps nine months. The whole family is waiting. And when the child is born, the mother and father so lovingly look at the child to waiting to grow, grow up. Even a small thing, a small perhaps a smile of the child brights the whole day. We are waiting for it to grow up. And when the children are growing up, the parents are also happy. How many mothers are waiting for their children to come back from school? And if it's a little delayed, how agitated they are. How many of the family members are waiting for their husbands? And perhaps this is in small instances, bigger instances, those who have gone to work far away abroad. You know, the parents are waiting. Perhaps the family is waiting for the father. And so this, what is the meaning of waiting? It's very meaningful. You know, it can be an idle wait. You just waste time. And, uh, secondly, we say an expectant wait. You are expecting someone. You are expecting something to happen. And therefore you wait for it. And thirdly, a waiting that is surely is productive or useful for us. The gospel in the gospel today, the Jesus gives beautiful parable of this ten virgins you know the Israelites had that custom that a marriage was a great celebration and they did it just not just one day perhaps many days together and finally perhaps at that final ceremony when the bridegroom came he was to be welcomed and the people were waiting for him and especially what we call the bridesmaid or perhaps even the bridesmen that were waiting so in this gospel there are these ten bridesmaid virgins that were waiting for the arrival of the bridegroom and as a sign and symbol of their welcome they had to light their lamps. Light their lamps. And so all of them had brought the lamps of course but then five of them were prepared in case our waiting goes longer perhaps the lamps may not last longer and therefore they had brought the oil and the five had not brought the oil. So Jesus makes a beautiful sort of comparison about these two sets of virgins, the ones who have brought the oil and they are prepared to wait and the other ones, he calls them foolish virgins. They brought their lamps but then they didn't think it sort of good enough to carry also an extra oil that would have been useful in case the bridegroom was delayed and that's what happened to him. They went out, they had to go out to bring the oil and by the time they returned, the door was closed and the bridegroom and the others don't open the door for them. Perhaps that's the meaning for us. That we also have to, first of all, our weight should not be an idle weight, a wasteful weight, a destructive weight. We also wait and plan perhaps some bad things. I will do this. I will wait for him. I will wait for her. It's a negative or perhaps a destructive type of wait. 
The second one we say is they expecting, expectant wait. You know, you wait for something to happen, and it's a long wait. And if you really want that thing, particular thing or person, you have to wait. You know, I had to wait once in Istanbul airport, 24 hours for the next flight. Our flight that came from the Holy Land to Istanbul, it was delayed by a few minutes, but the next flight didn't wait and just. went off fortunately they transfer our tickets to the next day but where 24 hours in the airport just sitting there just sitting there and so you have so many instances of expectant wait and the third is a wait that is prepared that you prepare yourself that you prepare for the to welcome the person or perhaps something else and therefore this is the time way that we have to wait and spiritually also perhaps we can also say that this wait has meaning because you know the the oil or the lamp has got a meaning in the scriptures it's a lamp of faith and a newly child is baptized a, ch- a lamp is lit a candle is lit the presence of christ and so this lamp is a meaning that we are nurturing the faith and what is oil oil is for charity something that flows something that is given extra something that is given more in order to make ourselves more comfortable so if it oil is for charity and the waiting of course perhaps might be little irritating but it can be considered going extra you know these ten virgins perhaps they didn't just come there they may have something to do with the bride room or their family some benefit that they have received some perhaps out of gratitude they have come and they are ready to wait they are we are not told that they are grumbling they are waiting and therefore if you the person that is coming if the cause is useful for you you don't mind waiting you don't mind waiting for an extra a little extra you know Jesus has that in the gospel what we call the walk the extra mile the extra mile and uh, you know the young man in the gospel of mark who comes to ask Jesus what shall i do and he rattles what he has done so far and Jesus asked him do little more go and sell all that you have a little extra a little extra and therefore also in the forgiveness of sins also a little extra so therefore this waiting is always for little extra that we can show in our life you know the second reading and the first reading also are very meaningful this waiting or perhaps the philosophy of waiting is expressed beautifully in the first reading that speaks about wisdom in the book of wisdom itself and wisdom is personified as a of a lady and the meaning is just as we have to wait the wisdom to wait and therefore this is a this wisdom is hidden and in plain sight for those who seek for it at the same time in genuine terms entering into a love relationship you know we wait for a person that you love you we you wait for a person or perhaps a cause that is dear to you so this is the meaning of the of the book of wisdom that speaks about our waiting our patience our love offering to the other and the second letter to the Thessalonians and Paul has a very powerful message you know waiting for death waiting for death you know once many a times it has happened to me when i visit the old age homes the senior citizens they are waiting they are waiting for those last moments because there's nothing else for them to do so they think sometimes when the children have abandoned them and the other things don't work they're just waiting and so st paul tells in the thessalonians that our waiting for death is not a waste and the death itself has meaning because it's an area of hope for us that is not the end 
that is always a pointer to the hope and so you may not have another opportunity as this waiting 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 for death but also hopefully just saint paul says just as jesus died and rose again and through jesus god will bring with him all those who have fallen asleep it's a hope for us a hope for those who are waiting month of november is a month that we pray for our departed they've already gone but we said that perhaps if they are in the purgatory in a state where they were not perfect and therefore they have to pray they have to be prayed for perhaps our waiting our praying our sacrifice may also help them to have a better future in heaven and at the same time our waiting in this world our old parents our children who are growing up ah wives and husbands who are li- living a family life for many many years with so much of waiting in between may it not be a waste may it be a fruitful a time of blessing the time of waiting may it be a time of blessing and grace for all of us <laughs>